Hi, I'm Phil Holden, and I'm going to talk to you about Subdivide. Subdivide is a React component that accepts a chooser component as a prop. When an item is selected from a chooser, that item's component replaces the chooser. Subdivide provides drag handles in the four corners of each screen. Dragging a handle vertically splits the pane horizontally. And panes can be merged by dragging a handle up onto an adjacent pane. Dragging a handle horizontally splits a pane vertically and I'll select an item from the chooser. This is an app for creating iPhone adverts. It's backed by Redux, so as I edit things in form fields, everything updates automatically. I'll just drag on some images. And now I want to preview what this is gonna look like responsively on different kinds of iPhones. So subdivide allows me to divide my space according to task. So I've created four panes and in each one, I've set it to be an iPhone of a different size, everything from a, a 6 Plus to an iPhone 4, and I can now see each uh, slide in each phone. And now let's preview it in uh, React Native, and so this is an iOS uh, rendering of that advert. Subdivide can also be used for Redux DevTools. And so I've added in a log monitor, and I can undo and redo actions to my heart's content, as you've seen so many times in this conference so far. And I can replay all of my actions uh, from the beginning using the slide monitor. One great use of subdivide is creating communication tools like Skype or WhatsApp, except you can have whatever you like in the pane. You're not limited to just text chat, photos, and videos. Here, I've mocked up a code screening tool using iframes. But the problem is that the local panes can't really talk to their remote counterparts. I wanted to make this really easy to do. And my first thought was to uh, use GraphQL. I'm using this for my work at, at NCR. Here is an online banking application. On the desktop, it paginates via next and previous, while on mobile, it uh, paginates via infinite scroll. And Relay and GraphQL seamlessly handle all the data fetching. We even have Relay and GraphQL working on our ATMs. But I needed another solution for subdivide. In my free time, I'm working on a lyrics app for mobile phones, uh, for churches to display song lyrics. It allows you to use any kind of screen and control which lyrics are displayed using a mobile phone. There's a Raspberry Pi connected to a cheap 70 pound projector, another Pi connected to a 4K screen, and an assortment of PCs and laptops and a tablet. Behind the scenes, it's using a node server to communicate. This works okay for a single church, but it doesn't scale globally. In order to scale globally, you would need multiple node servers, a self-replicating database, sharding, load balances, money for cloud servers, and also, because, money would, uh, because lyrics would pass through my servers, the music industry may ask me to become involved in copyright disputes. This made me thinking, think about writing a distributed app where users uh, store lyrics on their own phone in IndexedDB and sync them peer-to-peer -peer over WebRTC. I didn't know where to start, so I tweeted my needs to Substack, and he replied with one word, swarmlog. Swarmlog is an append-only log for immutable actions. It's backed by hyperlog, which uses a Merkle DAG, the same structure used by Git and Immutable.js to sync things. And one of the problems with WebRTC is normally you can only have a couple of hundred peers connected to a single node. But uh, swarmlog creates a mesh, allowing any number of peers to connect. A bit like BitTorrent, the more users, the faster it goes. But an append-only log, I can add actions, but I can't remove songs. Then I remember the talk, turning the database inside out. It basically says that normally we store data and throw away the queries. If we were to store the queries and throw away the data, we could recreate the database in any previous state by rerunning the queries. Now, Redux doesn't use queries, but it does have an append-only log of immutable actions. What if I were to store the action log in the browser using IndexedDB, while at the same time syncing it peer-to-peer -peer via swarm log. When a user connects to the site, they first of all sync additional actions uh, over WebRTC and then reduce the whole action log from the beginning to create the initial state. Further actions come in uh, via WebRTC and real-time U updates are triggered on, on both sides. I can now add songs and delete them. And I can even switch off my server and it still updates. Sadly, I don't have time to tell you about all the properties and advantages of this system, but 
If you would like to find out more, then please have a listen to my talks on Egghead AI on Redux Swarm Log and Subdivide, and hopefully you soon using Redux Swarm Log with Subdivide. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> <laughs>